Alright guys, here with Adam Smith. Adam, Hi. exciting times. All right. September is here, boxing season starts, we've got so Come many happy fights. September's here, so yeah. am I. Everyone's, everyone's excited. Yeah. We're going to start obviously Saturday night, first show. Amir Khan's back, he's looking slick, he's looking sharp. What, what's your thoughts on this fight? Really excited to have Amir back and kicking off what should be a wonderful autumn winter period yeah. on Sky Sports, on Sky Sports box office and of course Add the competition to uh, you know the ITV box office Super Series final BT what they're doing great fights coming up everywhere. Um, we've got a huge huge lineup, um, so I'm really excited for Amir to kick us off here in Britain. Then we go to Wembley for AJ, and yeah. then we're off to America for Chicago and Boston, back yeah. to Newcastle. Like we're all over the back place. and forth. It's great. Um, Amir, uh, yeah, I mean, look, it, I, I wasn't with him in America. Yeah. Uh, I've heard great reports. Mm -hmm. Uh, Joe Goosen is a terrific uh, trainer who we've known for a long time since his time with Diego Corrales and, and the great fighters he trained back in the day. Uh, he'd have only joined up with Amir if he thought Amir was going to become world champion right, again yeah. and be successful for the last two years of his career. Yeah. Uh, I think Amir looks great. Um, I think Samuel Vargas looks really good and he's come with a good team and good attitude and yes he's not expected to beat Amir and uh, whether he'll be a level too short maybe but I think he'll give um, everything he can. I think it'll be an action-packed fight and I think that Amir will win and I think he'll win hopefully getting a few more rounds in obviously more than the, the Greco fight but I think he needs a few uh, before maybe he enters a super one. yes he will hopefully enter a super fight yeah. uh, next so we want that Kel Brook fight don't we we do Yeah. we all want that Kel Brook you really think he, Kel will come down again with 147 we spoke to Eddie earlier about it he seems keen Kel will do it he, he's done it time and time again but is it a bit too much of a push to come back down? The fight was almost made before Amir fought to Canelo. It was very, very close. Okay. Kel wants it, Amir wants it, the fight can happen. Get him in a room, get him in a room, knock heads together, the fight can happen. Definitely. They don't like each other much, they're great personalities, it's a 50-50 fight, whatever way it's made out. People want to see it, you walk around the country, it'll be Kel Brook will win it, Amir Khan will win it, Brook, Khan, Khan, Brook, Khan, Brook. Yeah. Frotch Groves, all yeah. over again, it's a narrative, they can do it a couple of times. It could even be a trilogy. Make it happen, Eddie. Make it happen. They're under your umbrella now. It's yeah. a promotional outfit. That they're both in the same stable. Okay? Before Amy wasn't with Eddie, there was a lot of this. Yeah. They said, oh, they'll never work together, and they work together. It's yeah. boxing. Everybody yeah. works with everybody. Yeah. They're working together. The fight can be made. Now they talk of Manny Pacquiao. Great. I'd love to see Pacquiao. Brooke, I'd love to see Pacquiao come. Would I love to see Calm Brook the most yeah. from a pure fight fan point of view and one that I don't want to get away before either of them loses or decides to Correct. retire? Yeah. I, want, I want to see that fight. Well, let's talk about the undercard on Saturday night. Yeah. We've got exciting fighters. We've got Lewis Ritson, who is very, very exciting at the moment. You like him? Jordy Golovkin. Yeah, like, everyone, like everyone, everyone's, everyone's got his eyes on, on Lewis now. What do you think the future holds for him? Uh, I think Lewis Ritson's a very exciting fighter. I think he's got what he's got is he's he's down to earth. He's good to watch. He's got a great city behind him, a sporting city that loves success. Yeah. You know the football team wants success. Now they've got a fighter who's a real Geordie. Yeah. Amazing atmosphere the last time. But, you know he's delivering. He's delivering time and time again. Let's see how far he can go. But he's really exciting. Lewis Ritson. I'm, I'm, I can't wait to see the development of Joshua Boatsy, of Joe Cordina, of Josh Kelly. Connor Ben, there's so many out there. You had the DAZN fighters at any signing over there, it's a fantastic autumn winter period. And lastly, touching on a few weeks' time, we've also got the big super fight between Canelo and Golovkin. Next week. Is it next week? Oh, it is next week, yeah, it is. <laughs> but what's your thoughts on this fight? Um, obviously, it's always 50 50. Uh, Canelo's looking sharp, Golovkin's also looking sharp. Disappointed about what happened with, with yeah, Canelo. Correct. And, and so, whether it's tainted it a bit or whether it adds more drama to it, who knows? I really enjoyed the first fight. Um, I thought Canelo might beat Golovkin the first time around, and I think he started and finished really well. And he shows he could have beaten him. Uh, I think Golovkin might have uh, uh, watched that. He's a bright guy, so is uh, yeah. Abel Sanchez. Uh, and I think they might, uh, they might just do it again this time and do it more uh, conclusively. But um, yeah, I, I fancy Golovkin. Okay. okay, thank you for your time anyway.